Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just a get ready with me. I think it's more on the natural side. Like I don't have too much on my face and those are very specific to my style nowadays. I still love, you know, bright doyen makeup. I touch on my eyelashes, how I like to like make them look like this. They're kind of spiky. And if you have hooded eyes, I think it's really nice and you can see the eyeshadow through your eyelashes if you just want to chill with me thank you for being here and let's get started so for sunscreen i'm going to try out this first aid beauty weightless liquid mineral sunscreen it's spf 30 and safe for sensitive skin that's what first aid beauty typically does i did test this out on my hand i'm a little terrified i'm most concerned obviously about my forehead because it's tan and I do feel a little bit of grittiness put some on my neck too so automatically I'm looking a bit pale a bit ghostly and this isn't what I want for a sunscreen for myself because I just don't wear a lot of base makeup so I don't have a foundation to counteract this I am very minimal of my makeup now and I really am happy that I've come to this place where I'm honoring my face, my comfort level while still having fun. And yeah, I've just been in this nice, I don't know, flow, I guess. Also, I'm filming in 4K. I hope you guys like it. And the beauty filter is turned off. This is something that I want to start doing because it does take away from the quality. I have one thing I completely forgot to mention. So I got this in a little Sephora bag. It's the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Oh my god. I was actually adding this into sunscreens that I already have. I have far too many sunscreens right now. It's ridiculous. And it does help. But I would just rather not have, you know, a secondary product. So I'm just going to rub that into my forehead, even though I could have just use bronzer which I'm going to um, but yeah I just wanted to mention that product because it truly is nice and this little mini size is so convenient um, I'm just going to actually take a little bit and just going in with the super goop glow screen I got this in a little Sephora bag again but I can't do it all over my face it's just too much so I use it as an under makeup highlighter I just take the tiniest little amount and just kind of dot that in places where I, you know, want to glow. I stay away from these pores because I don't want to accentuate them too much. So I just keep it here and then I'll tap a little bit in my under eye just adds a little bit of a sheen. I should probably add that to my moisturizer if I don't want it to be all over the place, but still get a glow. But I only have one and I keep it at my vanity. So maybe I'll get another one. I'm just kidding, I'm not doing that. Also, I have my brows filled in with pencil, but not set and they are giving me a little bit of trouble. They're just, I don't know. They're too browy, if you know what I mean. Like, I've been trying to make them not so filled in, but it's very difficult for me. So for concealer, I have a problem with concealer. I just love buying them, and I'm really still stuck on these e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealers. I have two of them. One of them is more of an orange shade. One of them is more of like, I guess, a peach, so color correcting, and I just love this because it uh, that doesn't make any more texture on your face than you have. So the lighter one I have is medium 30W. Apparently it's W for warm, but I don't know. And put that right like there. I'm gonna do a little bit here just cause I, I feel like it. And as you can see, I have this fresh, fresh spot. I don't know why. I have to say that. Thank goodness it is now flat. I had one day of crusty like concealer on it and then it just kind of came off and here we have this. And for the center of my face, I just do a little bit of the darker one 
and kind of mix it in. That's probably a bit too much. And around here, I really don't like to do too much on my chin, but we're doing a video, so let's just do it. That's what happens, I get impulsive when I film. I'm gonna blend this out with a brush. And for my nose, I always like to use a sponge, a dry sponge. I feel like this is a sin, but I don't know. It's just how I roll. I just feel like it, it picks up the product and I don't want too much product on my face. I take the excess and put it on the outside. Earlier this year, I got into color correcting and I got this Stila color correcting palette. It has so many colors and I would mainly use the yellow one. But I recently went to Ulta. Well, yesterday I went to Ulta. I just told you guys that. I decided to get a concealer that was the color of my face. But before I do that, I do want to just bronze up that area a bit because I want to put on the concealer last so there's no movement. So I am still using the M Cosmetics stick and I do like to do a bit of that action in there. And I like to drag this all over the place because the center of my face is just whiter. <laughs> and I want it to look like, you know, when I was out tanning, not really, but this part of my face will naturally tan. I'm gonna take that down here. I don't normally do this a lot, but you know. I normally bronze up here, but I put those drops, so I'm not going to do it this time. And this is in the shade Nomadic, if you wanted to know that. So right now I feel like I have a lot of stuff on my face. I think it's the sunscreen. That's the only thing that feels a bit different. Now we're gonna do the concealer. So this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. It's so tiny and cute. In the shade Tan Deep Sand. I just did the tiniest little dot on my hand. I'm gonna take it. I have this one spot up here. There's texture to it, so it's not going to completely go away, but. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is life changing, guys. Just gonna find more spots. So it's a bit too orange for this part of my face right here. But the sides, it's pretty good. I probably shouldn't have gotten the creamy one, but I really wanted to try this formula and I don't want any spots um, that have flakes to be accentuated, so that's why I got that version. But it was only like $14 and it'll probably last me an entire year. And to be honest, I really don't care if I'm not getting the full you know, deal with the amount of product. Um, because I like to buy concealer and I buy small ones. Like this is my other one, the regular Shape Tape. It came in like a holiday set. This is a shade 35N Medium. Look at the size difference. This is a shade I'll use under my eyes sometimes if I just feel like having more coverage. But this is like my more natural coverage look. I'm gonna set everything now and I've been working my way down this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I mainly put this on places that do not get acne, so underneath, right here. I'm gonna be realistic with you guys. I go in with this huge brush at home, and I just go like that. No precision, <laughs> just everywhere, okay? That's the reality. Remember the good old days when I used to talk about my smile lines all the time? Well, since I wear less makeup, I don't focus on them a lot anymore, which is quite nice. And I realize that they're a sign of, you know, happiness. Yes, I do have a cheek biting problem, but you know, they're a sign of life and aging and just smiling. So I've calmed down on, you know, not liking them. But I will say, I am trying to use my new face more often. I stopped using it for a long time. That thing is so expensive. And I know I'll have it forever unless it like breaks for some reason, like fingers crossed that does not happen. Um, but yeah, I've been using it more often on my face just to 
tone my muscles and just help lift this area because I really don't ever want to get filler. It's just not something I want to do. Speaking of filler, I'm going to put on this Forget the Filler lip gloss by Lawless just because my lips are feeling a bit parched. Let's do blush next because I need some color on his face. So this is the MAC Glow Play Blush. That name is so difficult in grand. And I have a love-hate relationship with these things because they're just, I don't know, slow to work with, I should say. But I do, you know, want to use them up as much as I can. And I just put that more in the center of my face. Also, like the way I get the product is kind of weird. It's like I have to dig in there. I have this rubber thing on here that I can make the brush tighter for the nose. I'm just gonna put some up here. Just gonna top that with the cherub color. It's time for eyes, so that's why we're nice and close. I'm just gonna prime. This is the Fenty Beauty um, primer. If I'm not doing an entire eye look with different shadows, I actually like to use this e.l.f. Um, liquid. What is it called? I don't know. I only have two shades. Um, one is more of a champagne, one is pink, so I can get like, you know, different vibes. Those are basically the colors that I gravitate towards. So I'm now a fan of the NARS Laguna. It is just that perfect shade um, just to bring some depth to my eyes. And I'm just really messy. If this is the only thing that I put on my eyes, it's, it's, it's great. If I'm not wearing this, I feel a bit naked in the eye area. I don't know what I've done to myself. Just become a follower now of the NARS Laguna. I also like this under. I feel like I'm just undoing what the concealer did, but it's not true. I refuse to believe that. So this year I've collected two palettes and pretty big because I used to be palette crazy long ago. This is the first one. It's very angelic. I love it. And there are some cool tones in there, some warm tones, just all of the things. I love the front. And then this one I regret because this is when I thought that orange was for me. This is the ColourPop Coast to Coral. Um, I don't use this one too often. I do like this one, Anemone. That's kind of in my color season. But this one, unfortunately, I don't use too much because it is more unflattering. I am a deep winter and yeah, orange and yellow just aren't the most flattering colors on me. And now I see it and now I can't unsee it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this one. Um, this brown in here is quite nice. It's kind of like a purpley brown and I never thought that I would like, like something like this, but I'm just gonna pop that right there. I'm gonna do this shade, Mr. Sandman, that's cute. Crush the purple iridescent. I think I'll do this gold and this is more of a neutral gold and just with the same brush because I keep it simple with the brushes. I always have. And that champagne I'm just gonna bring all the way in. I think I need a denser one. For underneath I'm gonna use a brown pencil just to just like do the waterline or the lash line I should say. So it has these glitters that I really love. If I, I'm just gonna do it. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah. So you see that? They're like peeking through the front. Just gonna do some clear brow gel real quick. Remember when I said I always have a pink and a champagne? Well, I have it again. So these are these little Etude House eye, tear eyeliners, and they're just so cute and little. So I have this like silver pink one and then champagne. 
I don't do gold anymore. I just find that it's it's not the greatest for me. It has to be more in the middle. I'm gonna do the pink one. And these are a bit strange because you can't just draw it on. So I have to like put it on and then like tap it in just a little bit. Now it's time for underneath. So I'm just gonna take this like purple shade right here and put that underneath. I'm gonna tie that in with the top and just do a little like wing. I'll do a fluffy brush and basically mix those colors. I like a good pink underneath the eyes. It ties in my blush. I'll take some pink and feather it up there. Just a little tiny bit. I just turn myself into a painting basically when I do my makeup. And I really blend this out. I don't want it to look too harsh. If it gets dark under there, I don't really care. So I have three mascaras right now. Um, this first one, I got the Bambi oversized eye. I don't know what got into me, why I wanted to get this. I enjoyed it. I think not this one, the original, but I don't like how the bristles in the end are so short. So I don't recommend trying that. I loved this in the beginning and it was like my go-to for the certain technique that I do. I basically brush through and then go like this with the wand to clump my lashes together. And the second time it just flaked everywhere. I don't understand. So I held off and I got it again. It's only $6. So I figured why not try it? The reason I actually got this one is because I misplaced the Tower 28 mascara, which has been like going viral and I get it. When I did my short on this, I said that it was a clean mascara. Like it comes out and the wand is clean. It is not. It's quite messy. Like you can see the cap is all black. I don't know what's happening actually. It's very weird. Like, I don't know. But anyway, this is a great mascara. I'm gonna do my lower lashes and my upper lashes. I just have to curl them real quick. I'm not sure if we'll ever do a lash lift again. Um, they're so convenient, but if something messes up it's just not fun basically two eyelashes on this side are too curled like they want to touch my eyelid so i have to consciously like be aware of those two i wish i could just pluck them out are they gone no they're still there okay here we go so i'm going to show you how i like to do my mascara is this too much probably but you know this video is all about makeup so I like to do the whole wiggle. I always make sure the brush is following the curve of my eye. And then I'll go like that. And it's a very volumizing mascara. So I have a little bit of difficulty getting the result that I want but you know with some work so the eye looks pretty good i don't know where to look grab the eyelashes and like twist them together it's more difficult on the inside i will say look at this one and see how it's too chunky so i just take my tweezer and separate them a bit I have been into a bright pink lip and this is something that is all a part of my deep winter ing and it makes me really excited because I would have stayed away from a bright pink like a neon um, far far away I was more into a berry a brown I still love those colors like you know my OG Mac taupe I think this is like a neutral color, so it's not too brown. I'll probably always have this color in my collection for the rest of my life, no joke. One drugstore product that I really like is the e.l.f. Power Mauve stain. And I have this in a red too, and I don't use it. It's just weird, I don't know why. But this is great, I still have that. 
like forget the filler stuff. But apparently I used this wrong. I think I'm gonna stay with this, but the color I wanted to talk to you about is like a color like that. And these lipsticks were like so random. I don't even think you could buy them. I think the brand is Shani Cosmetics, but the pink I'm talking about is like that. And I dabbed this on my lips. I feel like I should just show you what I'm talking about. Just gonna use what's on my hand. I, I feel like this is like a very glam. You see how I just look, I don't know, more lively? It's just the tiniest little bit of color. Um, if I really want to pop and bring out that brightness, like that, I don't know. I'm, why is the word zest coming to mind? It's not a word that I use, but you know what I mean. So. I'll top this with a clear gloss and then that's it, or a lip balm. And I just feel put together. If I just had that bronzer on my eyes, mascara, a little bit of liner, blush, and then this, I feel good to go. It makes it look I put an effort. So this is the final look and a bunch of products that I've been using. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed just sharing products that I like, techniques, um, yeah. I still love makeup. I know I don't upload like any makeup videos. I just don't buy as much makeup anymore and I actually am about to do a declutter in a bit and I have some makeup on the way, which I told you guys about. I'm not sure about that sunscreen. It's uh, $36, so I really don't wanna stick with something that I'm not crazy about. But everything else, like the concealer, I really like. Coming from being really into makeup and having a bunch of it, wearing a bunch of it, I just have less of a tolerance for it on my face. Like, you know what I mean? I just can't do feeling a lot of makeup. Like right now, I feel like I have the most on my face, but I think it's the sunscreen and it's a bit humid outside. So hopefully, you know, this lasts. I hope you guys enjoy just spending time with me Maybe you think I'm ridiculous or my voice is relaxing, whatever it is. Thank you so much for watching and making it till the end. I'm going to continue filming um, outfits I've been loving and a declutter are coming up. So um, stay tuned for that. Hit the bell and I hope you're having a great summer so far. Mm -hmm.